Hey guys, today we are looking at a quiver of crows. This is the Dark Souls of twin stick bird based shooters. Um, it has a really nice sort of limbo-esque aesthetic and you are a bird that shoots things at horrifying monsters that wish to eat you. So first off, look at the options. Not a lot going on here. You play this with a 360 controller. You can do it with the keyboard, but seems like that would be a bit rough. So use a controller. Credits wise, this game's made by a whole four people, it looks like. With a bunch of special thanks to folks. This is a very small indie game and it's really cool for what it is. So I'm just gonna look at the stages. We're gonna go solo. I've actually played a good number of stages into this game and it is, it doesn't mess around. This game is hard. It's not even really fair, but that's okay. So we're gonna look, start kind of in the middle, probably 10 a.m. Oh, hey, there's global leaderboards. That's kind of cool. There actually are people. I got this a week early. Um, and was actually quite happy to uh, have gotten that. But let me tell you, it does not run that well in windowed mode on my computer at this second. That's actually kind of concerning. How weird is that? So, we're gonna uh, go back, make this go back full screen, and continue. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's way better. So, uh, playing this in windowed really kills your frame rate. I'm on an older machine, but I can say that right now that this certainly looks... It runs way better in full screen than it does. Oh, jeez. So, there are horrifying monsters all around. The point of this game is you are to rescue your murder mates, the other crows that are in cages throughout the stage. And more often than not, you gotta rescue three Sometimes four, sometimes two, but more often than not, three. And all your monsters that you're facing are horrifying beasties of flesh and blood. They bite you, they chew at you, they have horrible fangs and tongues and shoot discs upon you. And this game is not terribly fair, and that's okay. This is, again, the Dark Souls of 2D bird-based shooter games. Oh, there's another murder mate. Oh, when you get hit, you lose your, uh, your pa get powered down. Kind of like how they do it a bit in, um, oh, dang it. Cave Story, yeah, a bit like that. Um, but you are never safe in this game. Stuff always spawns and they will mess you up. You can get buried under enemies. Um, as you can see, the orange things I'm picking up, those guys are the power-ups. They give me fuel for my special abilities, which are like feather missiles. Oh, and I've, I've gotten in a... Oh dear, I've... Oh god. I have really screwed up now. Oh, see? Oh god! Let's try that again. So you also have three multi three weapons. You got the sort of higher powered beam, little pew pew machine gun, and beeply boop gun, which does like nothing. It doesn't do any damage really. The only decent one seems to be this guy, but I could be completely wrong and be misusing it. And I assume there's more weapons. I just haven't found them yet. Do 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 do. The music is cool, and oh god, you really have to take things slow and methodically. Like, you can't be complacent because, well, stuff will totally show up and start it killing you from behind, but you... Ah! You really gotta get good. You know, I've put two hours into this game, um... And... A lot... And I'm not that many stages deep. I died a lot, and it takes you a while to, uh... Oh, god dang it. 
figure out the optimal way to do a stage. And it really is slow and steady wins the race, or slow and steady doesn't get sworn by horrifying monstrosity which was to chew upon your corpse. But the music is cool, the visuals are cool, and it's co-op. It has a co-op mode, which is really sweet. Uh, James and I recorded a full hour without even really knowing. Um, and I'm going to put that up as sort of a, hey, this is what an hour of co-op looks like video, just to see if people are interested in watching it. Because, uh, yeah, we get angry and we swear and we die a lot. And more often than not, it's just one of us finishing the stage. But yes, I am just getting wrecked fairly hard. Also, uh, enemy bodies block bullets. So, you know, there's a horde of dudes coming at you. You blow away a few, their bodies will block the shots for anything a little bit downrange. Oh god, oh god. Backing up. Oh, jeez. More biggins. Oh, jeez. Okay, and I am I chose a stage where I don't have the stage 3. Uh, each weapon, so far, can charge up to 3. So, I've gotten the 3 birds, and the fire's gone away. And now, I get the level 3 weapon. Fourteen seven thirty nine. Not bad, I suppose. Is it gonna show me that? No. Nope. Oh, so apparently that's the score attack mode. Wasn't sure about that, but I can continue and go through, I guess, the story mode of the game. So there is. This is the level three of the pew pew. Oh God, wasps! They are awful. You gotta fire unpredictably to get those guys. There's some skeletal cranes, more skelebats. And you can kind of tell how damaged things are. Oh, the bullet hell thingies, yay! Oh, and the skeleton guys, they're skeleton, there's big skulls, which vomit medium skulls, which can vomit further skulls. So you really gotta take those guys out. And you don't really see those guys until, well, this stage of the game. Oh, nope. Blah. Oh, more wasps. Nope! You gotta really fire unpredictably for those guys. And yeah, there's some stuff spawning in on me. What's kind of cool is the bodies stack. Like, there's... Ah! There's collision. There's ragdoll physics. Like, if I kill... If I kill a thing, its body tends to stick around. Come on. Oh, jeez. Really gotta go and free my murder mate. Oh. It's like, what's living? What is dead? What is undead? Ah! Yeah, that guy flew right up in my face and spat. So I am powered down. Oh, jeez. Ah, dead bird. Look at that, they're just pew pew pewing right on my corpse. That's rough. So, start back up. The continue system is generous. There's not really a score mode in the single player. Um, the score attack that you just saw me do without knowing, hey, that's the score attack mode, is pretty cool. It, you know, so you can... If you can not suck at a stage, you can probably get yourself a high score. But all the skeleton, like, these guys are jerks, because they spew skulls that can spew skulls. Oh god, wasps. I hate wasps, real life and, uh, in video games. Ah! Dang it! Oh, they're coming from behind! So, you can basically see, this is the gameplay of the game. Like, there's enemies, they come out from all directions, they're constantly respawning, and they... Well, they are gonna take you for a ride. And they will power you down, and you... 
Like, it's not fair at all. Like, I, I do not think this game is very fair at all. But that's kind of the way these games go. I mean, is Dark Souls fair? Well, yeah, you just have to learn the mechanics really well. But this, you know, it's about dodging and not letting skulls bite you in the face. And I, I do kind of wish that the view was a little bit further out. It gets further out in certain stages, but like right now, I got a bunch of dudes firing at me from off screen and that's rough, you know? But, I mean, ultimately it's a fairly minor complaint because it is, it has a cool aesthetic and is challenging. It is hard. You know, I fully, you know, I want to play some more of this with James because, you know, that was lots of fun. Oh, jeez. So one thing a game does have is a good map system. So I gotta get up here. Alright, they're free. Am I done? No, there's one bird left. Um, ah, up top there, huh? Oh, God. Oh, and when you die, you have to start the stage over completely. Like, there is no, uh... So, I'm gonna try dodging. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of my way! Oh my goodness gracious. No! Ugh. Oh, what's that? I'm starting back at the beginning again. So, if... You know, you play it smart... Oh, what the... Oh, a wasp was inside the body of the... Oh my god, that's terrifying. Nope, quit hitting skulls at me, you jerk. It's gonna be my last shot at this stage, but... This is the gameplay. Enemies galore. Bullets everywhere. I'm gonna try the, uh... Multi pew pew. It's really good for taking out the, uh... Oh, dang it. Ah! Get out of here, murder friend! Ah! Ah! Oh, we got... This game is hard! Oh, what's that? You got some new health. Shame that guy came up and bit you and powered you down. Deal with it, nerd! Gotta really worry about just dodging the bullets. But I'm pretty sure that I cannot run and kill the... Get out, get out, get out! Alright. Let's get dodging. Oh my god. Well. My poor crow has been murdered. Look at that. Jesus Christ. So yeah, this is a quiver of crows. It is hard as balls. It is a zombie-based shooter game. 
And it's fun, but God, it's challenging. And approaching things, sometimes you'll get screwed, and that's just how the game is. Um, again, this is a really small team. Literally four people, Chad Atta, Alice Lowe, Danny Atta, Laura Shigihara, and then a bunch of thanks people that, like, Momocon 2016 gamers, like, they did this at a con. And I think it's really cool. Um, I don't know how much it's gonna be. Probably gonna guess around 10 bucks, but it's, it's hard. If you like twin stick shooters and don't want like a space aesthetic, this is probably up your alley. It has some cool uh, limbo-esque, you know, the gothic, there's some, there's hanging skeletons and bones and stuff, ooh. It's fun. Um, I suggest you check it out. There'll be a link to the store page in the description below. So don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun jazz, and I will see you guys next time.